One, two, three, four. Bunny doesn't have to work tomorrow. Bunny has a day. Welcome to the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. Bunny Today I'm going to be doing Aquarius, your love reading for the month of March. This reading is good from the moment that you view it until um, about, I would say, the first uh, two weeks of April, so approximately a month, uh, 30 days, however you want to, however you want to put it. However, energies are malleable, so they can, could be shorter, could be longer, um, some of this may have already happen for you, and of course, because it is a general reading, it will not resonate with everyone. Um, my readings often resonate with uh, either sun, moon, or rising sign, and <clears throat> those on the cusp. So if you are not sure what your sun, moon, or rising sign is, you can go to astro.com. Well, there's, there's some other websites out there, of course, but uh, go to astro.com and type in your name, birth date, time, and where you were born, and it'll calculate for you your sun, moon, and rising signs as well as your entire chart. Um, so, uh, of course, if you're on the cusp and you are not sure which sign to watch, um, I recommend watching both signs that you are on the cusp of so that you can figure out which sign uh, to watch. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to make sh to announce. If you'd like to book a private reading, um, I do offer 30-minute Skype readings. Um, those are $50, and I also offer a private YouTube reading. Those are $65, and they're also 30 minutes. Um, PayPal to the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. Um, I also have a shortcut, which is paypal.me slash good, bad, and the tarot. And if you want more information, drop open the description below this video, and there'll be some more information there on how to book. I don't have a website right now, so I just book over email, so all you do is just email me to set up your appointment. Uh, my live readings are done Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central, Stand Central Standard Time. Um, of course, I can make accommodations for you if those times don't work, um, but it has to be for a good reason, like um, you are, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What, whatever your reason is, I guess is fine with me, but um, those are my general reading times. I try to stick to them. I don't do readings on Sundays. That's my day off. <laughs> Girls gotta play. Girls gotta rest. Alright, so... Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Rising. Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Rising. What are the love messages that you have for the sign of Aquarius for the month of March 2016 going into April? So we're looking for energies extending over the next month or so. What can you show us for our Aquarians? Lovely, lovely Aquarians. I am very attracted to Aquarians. I have lots of Aquariuses in my life. Even though they are my opposite sign, I very much get them on a mental level. I think of all the signs, Aquarius, you guys, I get you. I get you. I feel you. I feel your vibe. Okay. Spirit, if you're with me, please show me the love messages and energies that you have for Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the uh, good old Celtic cross spread here, which you've seen me do about a thousand times already. And I guess I could try doing a different spread, although... This one works pretty good. This one is pretty awesome. And 
uh, I got some new cards here. This is the Muka Tarot, Tarot Muka, and it is awesome, based off the Art Nouveau paintings of Alphonse Muka. All right, let's take a look at your runes. I didn't realize how far away that is. Let me move it in. Scooch it in for you. We have some sunshine today. Normally we don't have any sun. Normally it's just ugly outside. We don't get to see the sunshine. Makes me sad. Spirit, what are the messages that you have today for Aquarius regarding your love lives for March 2016? Love messages for Aquarius. Love messages. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I got lots of information today for you. So, as you guys know, I don't read the runes that are upside down, and there's just a few of those. Two. And then, uh, I'm just going to pull this, pull the, uh, the runes that are showing up here, put them next to their, their crossing cards on their, I'm just going to read this there, whatever, this there. Yeah, fine, right there. Okay. It's all good. It's all good in the hood today. Put my runes away. I like to tie up the bag. Alright. So we have our uh, spread set up. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn over the cards for you. Okay, you've got the Ace of Pentacles reversed, crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Got Burkana and something else over here. I'll take a look at those in a second. What comes below you, you have the Eight of Wands reversed. What comes before you in the recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Got a rune on that too. Got a, a rune on pretty much all cards in the Central Cross, which is very nice. Um, lots of messages today. Sun in reverse, what comes above you. In the near future, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. How you see yourself, you have the Three of Pentacles reversed. How your significant other sees you, they have the, the King of Pentacles reversed. Your ups and fears are the Seven of Wands, and your outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Can I see that? I'll show you the cards. Stay tuned for the end of the reading where I will be drawing one oracle card or one tarot message from my new tarot deck. Um, stay tuned for that. Let's take a look at your cards, Aquarius. In the center, we have um, the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful card. Which signifies... Um, you know, a new opportunity, financial opportunity, um, an opportunity for advancement. It can also represent gifts or inheritance, um, connection to the earth, a new pathway forward. When it's reversed, um, there I get a couple messages. And I'm looking at this whole spread right now, and with the exception of... Do you have any major arcana? You have one major arcana. You have a lot of pentacles and a lot of wands. So I see a lot of physical effort, money, materialism, material world, uh, the earth represented here. And then I have a lot, I have a couple, two uh, tarot cards with wand energy, which is fire energy, which talks about action, creation, um, manifest energy, okay? So, what we are laden with coins is what I want to say. We have a lot of coins here, a lot of earth energy. And as your significator, having the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I will say that as an Ace, it does hover above the entire reading, so that is a blessing. It does tell me that in your present situation, with regards to your love life, um, what do I want to say about this? We do have like a rune coming up here. I think it was Burkana, and I sort of, it wasn't, Burkana, which means love, which is love rune, 
Let me get my little cheat sheet here. It wasn't, um, it wasn't upright. It was like this. Okay, Bricana was like that. I, I, I take mental notes. Whenever I see the runes, I just I make a note of them. But um, anyway, so love, you know, love is definitely in the picture here for you, Aquarius. I mean, it is, it is central. It is central to your life. Um, with the ace in reverse, there's something going on with a disconnect. There's some disconnection or rejection or a feeling of... Um, missing an opportunity okay this can manifest in a lot of ways all right it could be manifesting um as a disconnect from your body like being disconnected from your physical body like not grounding yourself not being grounded um or not being like really in touch with your physical body um so it's not bad. It's not bad because I do see love being part of the picture, but I would say that grounding is going to be important for you this month. And, um, you need to seize the day. You need to seize opportunities because they are coming into, they are coming in for you. Um, even though this is a love reading, I do see that, uh, because we have so many pentacles here work, I cannot, you know, I can't block out the fact that work uh, and material life is not part of the picture because it very much is. Um, so I, I, I feel like uh, even if I were to read this upright and I need to be consistent about how I read the cards, I would very much say that you have a new beginning ahead of you. And um, that new beginning starts now, okay? It's, it's a new start in your relationship I think that you guys, if you were in a relationship, you might have been through some stuff. Um, with the card in reverse, it tells me that there's there are some delays that you, it could be a few weeks, it could be a week, two weeks, before you really start to see the benefits of this new beginning. But I do see a new beginning for you. And it's an opportunity to start, like, it's a, it's a seed that you have to nurture, okay? So you have the seed to start a new beginning in whatever way that is for you, whatever a relationship that is for you, uh, whatever way that you want to interpret that. Um, for those of you who are, are single, uh, it could be a new beginning in terms of how you approach dating, how you approach love. But this seed has to be nurtured. You have to water it, you have to take care of it, you have to maintain the soil, you have to be connected to it, you have to understand it, right? Your crossing card is the lovely Nine of Pentacles. So this is your challenge, this is what's helping or hindering you. I see wealth, I see abundance, I see someone who can stand on their own two feet. And I see uh, creature comforts. Everything that you could possibly want. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. So much. So much luxury. So much wealth. So much abundance. Um, maybe even to your detriment, Aquarius. Having so much, you need to ground yourself a little bit. Because... Um, I'm just getting a lot of uh, earth energy here and um, you are an air sign. Some of you may have an uh, earth sign in your chart. Some of you may have like an uh, earth sign. Now the nine of pentacles can also represent an earth sign who has a lot of these qualities. They very much would be independent if they are nine of pentacles. They would be someone who's very comfortable and has a nice life and has all the things that they want, but they don't have a partner necessarily. They could be very happy with their pet and their home and everything and not really need too much. Now, the rune that's coming up for me how are we doing on time? I feel like I'm going slow today. Uh, we have 
What is this little guy? Is it Awas or Sowolo? Sowolo. I've just about had it with these rooms because they're just, there's a lot of them, there's, there's a set of four. I mean, there's two sets that look similar to each other. Okay. So this is Suelo. Yes, Suelo. And, um, which is the self. Talks about the self. And, um, is that, or is that safety? Sorry. Oh, like Suelo or safety? doesn't look like any of them. I'm going to hold off on this rune because what I'm getting here is um, self. I very much feel this has to do with grounding yourself. Grounding yourself, Aquarius, going to be important this month. We'll ask for clarification with the, uh, the last card that I pull, um, which is the Oracle card. Uh, I'm looking at your recent past and you have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So, um, I very much feel that if this is not you, this could be an aspect of you, this could be another person. Um, normally my Knight of Pentacles is like a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Could be a Virgo or could be someone that has a Virgo energy. Um, this person is very slow moving and, and very stuck in their ways. They may be even a little OCD. Um, significance of being in the past position, simply that they were in your past, or this was a behavior or characteristic that they were, that they showed to you. Around this uh, Knight of Pentacles, I am getting a rune, Manu's female. So, there's female energy around this person, and uh, with regards to this person, this knight, I feel that he is very, very slow moving, and he may even be stuck. Um, stuck with work, stuck uh, heavy, um, slow moving, I don't know how else to describe him. Um, He wouldn't, he or she would not come forward very, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't present to you in an open fashion, would kind of be stuck in their tracks. And it, it's, it could be for a lot of reasons, but I have a female coming up next to this person. So now we're getting a little bit of a clearer picture here. What puts you here? This is what comes below you. It's something that you may not be aware of. You have the Eight of Wands reversed. And it's coming up with um, my rune. Gebo, marriage. Marriage commitment. That sort of thing. Um, Gebo, an offering. Uh, with the Eight reversed, I very much feel like communication was blocked or messages were not getting through or for some reason passion the arrows of passion uh, the energy of travel that energy is blocked and um, it created a missed opportunity for you or a rejection or a disconnect your challenge is to remain independent your challenge is to continue in love to maintain your beautiful existence to be independent and uh, have wealth and abundance despite this your manifest position is the sun reversed this is what you know to be true and it is coming up with my Ingo's fertility rune. Uh, some of you may be dealing with some hormonal issues, fertility issues. 
and it may be causing depression in a relationship, mood swings, that kind of thing. I'm also getting with the sun reversed that you are thinking and feeling a bit like a wallflower, a little bit like you don't want to come out into the sun yet. You're hiding. You, you feel maybe like not as confident about yourself as you normally do or as carefree. Something has made you a bit re recoil a bit into your shell. Um, I just see you kind of not wanting to bask in the in the bright light yet. You're a little bit um, you kind of shrunk a little bit into your into yourself, and uh, that's okay. I mean, it could have a lot to do. It could have to do with fertility. It could have to do with um, hormonal stuff or just feeling um, a little bit under the weather or just a little bit, not quite 100%, okay? Um, in the near future, you have the Page of Pentacles reversed. So again, a lot of pentacles here, a lot of earth energy. Um, I very much get the sense that you are feeling stuck in a career or a job situation. And while this is a love reading, you know, it's important to understand that everything is interconnected. You know, all parts of our lives, just like an ecosystem. Um, this is coming up with my Algae's friendship rune. And uh, with regards to a friendship at work, I feel like I'm getting a couple messages here. For some of you, I feel like you are stuck in a position and you don't feel like you're progressing. It has to do with someone who is a friend, you consider a friend, and I feel like you want it to grow into more than that, or you want more than that, but it's it feels a bit stuck. It feels like you're not getting, you're not moving forward, you're not progressing. How you see yourself, you have the Three of Pentacles reversed. You may feel like you're not supported in this relationship or that you don't have, you're not getting the financial support or the emotional support or the, or it's, it seems less like teamwork for you. Because this is this card talks about collaboration, coming together, sharing values, building on what you have. And um, it's also the apprentice card. So falling right under the page here, uh, falling under the page I just I sense that there are issues at work right now for you and um, for some of you within your intimate relationships there could also be trouble with teamwork or sharing uh, the burden of responsibilities that you know comprise your relationship so I see it a couple of different ways um, in your environment or how your significant other sees you, they have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So they may see you that, that you work a lot and that you work very hard, but you may be too tied up in material things and not enough spending enough time in your body or, or building that, like I said, grounding yourself or... Um, there are no cups cards here. So I, I beg the question of what is going on for you emotionally, since this is a love reading. It seems almost like it's all work for you. There's a lot of energy that is going towards material, the material world. And um, to such an extent that you could be working too much and suffering some burnout from that or depression. So it's important to keep that, keep that in perspective in terms of balancing your love life, balancing work and play, um, staying in your body, right? 
Your hopes and fears are the seven of wands. So you are hoping to stand up for what you believe in. These are all things coming at you. It could be people, it could be events. Um, I very much see this as you reaching your potential and you wanting to um, keep up with all the things that are happening right now. It's almost, and it can be a struggle because the seven is, is not a resolute number. It's not an eight, right? Which can talk about change. Swiftness, things happening. It's more a card of battling off things as they come up. So you trying to maintain your balance amidst maybe some challenging circumstances. Okay, and so that is in your hopes and fears. Your outcome is the Ten of Pentacles, which does talk about long-term security, long-term relationships, family, um, emotional security. Uh, I very much see the picture of someone who is working to build their wealth into retirement, who cares very much about their family and his family oriented. And so for your outcome, I see that you will be successful in that endeavor, in your endeavors in that area. Now, um, <clears throat> which is very good and I commend you for your hard work and for you are uh, for striving forward. Now I'm going to read to you from, or I'm not going to read to you, I'm going to pull an oracle card from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. This is an excellent deck and I just purchased it and I have been using it so far. It's just been awesome. So let's see what message uh, the Oracle has for you today, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Show me an Oracle message that will guide Aquarius on their journey this month, moving forward. Guide Aquarius. Yeah, a couple more shuffles. I'm getting this card. I hope it's not one that I've pulled before. Man, I have gotten this card so many times. All right, um, let me read you the meaning. This card, by the way, is card number 12. And I, I believe it resonates with the major arcana in the tarot. So like the, it resonates with the hangman. So you guys probably, some of you may be familiar with the hangman card. to you from this book. Um, no, that's not the one that I want. Keywords are release, surrender, reconsider, patience, cycles, and perspective. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey, and let go of the outcome. 